Ransomware is malicious software that encrypts your files, demanding payment or ransom for their release. To detect and analyze these attacks, Splunk aggregates logs to spot suspicious activity like mass file encryption. Cisco Secure Client Network Visibility Module, or NVM, integrated with Splunk, offers deep endpoint insights into unusual network connections. And Cisco Secure Firewall Management Center, or FMC, leverages threat intelligence and policies to block ransomware at the network edge, providing comprehensive defense. Let's see it all in action. All right, so you can see I am logged into a virtual machine here. Do not try this on your own machine. And I have sent a piece of email to this email address here that has a suspicious attachment. Now, when I go ahead and click on this attachment and open it up, I'm actually gonna go ahead and unbeknownst to me, install some ransomware on this particular device. So if we take a look at our files now, you'll see that suddenly there's something that says recover file. This wasn't there before. And if we go ahead and just click on this file, just to kind of show you what it looks like on the inside right now, it looks like encrypted gibberish. So nothing for me to understand there. It looks like our files are beginning to become encrypted. And if we just wait a little bit longer, we'll see more files there that appear as well too, including this one that says recover. And if we go ahead and click on that and open it, you'll see this is actually a ransom note for us. So the ransomware has gone ahead and ran successfully. It's now telling us that our files are encrypted and we need to pay this ransom in order for us to get our files back. Now that we have this ransomware running on this particular device, let's use some Cisco technologies to investigate and analyze this. So from the search and reporting app inside of Splunk, let's pivot over to the Cisco NVM dashboard and let's take a look at device activity by volume and flow count. So we can see our device there, doctor.ad.hackmds.com. And if we look down and scroll down here a bit further, we can see a very nice flow chart showing the traffic from that particular device to various different URLs outside of our network. One in particular that's of interest is cali.attack.com. And another that's of interest to me as well too is sportfans.atk. I know that that one actually is a malicious URL. So let's jump back over to our search and reporting app inside of Splunk. And let's see if we can find more information on that sportfans.atk malicious URL and see what other kind of events triggered with that particular URL. So we see here that we do have some other events that occurred for it. And if we actually drill in on the file name that came from that particular URL, we'll see spoolsvc.exe. Let's jump over to the Cisco Secure Firewall, Firewall Management Center or FMC, go to analysis and then malware events. And interestingly enough, we'll see that same exact executable spoolsvc.exe appearing there as well too as a malware event. And we can go ahead and drill in on this particular file here as well by clicking on that little icon there. And we get some very valuable analysis related to this particular piece of malware. This is an example of a way that you can leverage some Cisco technologies to analyze and investigate different types of attacks, including ransomware. If you want to learn more about how to do this, you can check it out on u.cisco.com. Thank you very much.